Now, see the next chapter that is thermal properties of matter. Actually, this chapter is also a part of the properties of bulk matter, but in NCRT book, this has been given as a separate chapter. So, see here in this chapter, we have to do first heat. What is heat? See here, it is a form of energy which produces sensation of warmth. But see here, what is the basically heat energy of a body? See, any body or any object is made of the large number of the atoms. So, there are large number of atoms in the body. So, the total internal energy of these molecules is known as heat energy of the body. Now, see this total internal energy can be in the different form, maybe in the translation due to the translational motion, due to vibrational motion and due to rotational motion. So, heat is a actually a part of the internal energy which is transferred from one body to another due to the temperature difference between the two bodies. So, SI unit of heat energy is SI unit of heat is here joule represented by only J and CGS unit CGS unit is calorie, calorie here that is written here C A L. So, S i unit is joule, CGS unit is calorie. What is calorie here? So, one calorie is actually equal to the heat energy which is required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water from 14 point 5 from 14.5 to 15.5 degree Celsius. So, 1 calorie is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of the water from 14.5 to 15.5 degree Celsius that is only by 1 degree Celsius. Now, 1 calorie is equal to 4.186 joule or you can write also round figure that is 4.2 joule. So, this is the relation between calorie and heat, calorie and joule. Now, say next quantity is here that is temperature. It is the, it is defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of the body. Now, see here the temperature of the body actually decides the direction of the flow of heat. Heat always flows from higher temperature to lower temperature of the body. Temperature is here considered as a basic quantity and its uh, SI unit is taken as here that is Kelvin and represented by here this capital K.